Oh, now, now he's in the house. It's a hornet. Get out. Shoo, fly. Big ass hornet. See that thing? Oh, he's going to sting me for sure. So, oh God, he's going to sting me. Get out. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really nasty in here. So I'm not even going to show videos <laughs> until we're done with the remodel because if anybody sees it now, they're going to be like, oh my God, what the hell did y'all buy? <laughs> But we got a really good deal on it, and the bones are good, so we can we can make anything beautiful again. <laughs> uh, it has a stove top, but no oven. And I don't I don't know if the microwave and stuff works. We can't plug it in right now. Fridge. These cabinets pull out. I'm not opening all that now. I'll show you the the details once we get everything cleaned. Um, it's supposed to have a like a bowl type sink there, so we have to replace that. Um, it's got a composting toilet, but we'll probably put a regular toilet in here. We might try to clean that one up and use it when we're boondocking. I don't know. Everything's up in the air now, but lots and lots and lots of cabinet space. <clears throat> and you can see through there how big we have to slide out. And it's got two air conditioners, they both work. And then you got a bedroom back here. Lots of closet space. Of course, we're going to get rid of the mattresses and everything. So yeah, that's it. It's much bigger than our class room. But it is a hot mess right now. I don't think I've ever done a full walkthrough tour of this RV. We bought it about a year ago and um, it was buried in the woods. <laughs> Seriously, there's a video, if you scroll back, uh, there's a video showing how we had to get it out of the woods. Anyhow, we got it for a good price, but it needed a lot of work on the inside. And the outside. The entire outside was covered in moss and dirt and it was just gross. Needs another bath now, but God, it's huge. <laughs> so it's a 37 and a half foot Class A. And if you've watched our previous videos, we've always traveled in a 23 foot Class C with no slides. This one is much bigger and it has like a 14 foot slide <laughs> so it's it's like a, a huge step up for us we're we're not used to having this much space this much storage so yeah it's it's pretty pretty cool uh, my friend Billy Joe Hager made me some decals for the front and I have some decals on the back pretty much the same yeah. Oh, we have an awning. We never had an awning before. <laughs> uh, we're It's kind of a mess out here. We're packing up. We're leaving out in the morning, heading to Gainesville, Georgia. So let me take you inside and show you around a little bit. Here's the view from the driver's seat. Uh, keep in mind that this is still a work in progress, so there's a lot of things we haven't finished yet. For example, the ceilings. <laughs> I'm still up in the air about what we want to do on the ceilings. And the section behind me, uh, the cab, I'll show you that shortly, but it's, it's not completed either. We basically redid everything in here. 
I surprised Frank with two puppies <laughs> back in March. Um, so that put us at four dogs and two puppies. I really had no idea how much work two puppies would be. <laughs> But we're, we're making it happen. They're five months old now, and everybody's getting into a routine. So Frank built this. It's a double kennel. It used to have a divider in the middle, so it would be two when they were smaller. Uh, they needed, <clears throat> excuse me, they needed their own separate spaces. But now they're bigger, and we just take it out. And They don't sleep in there at night anymore. Uh, they sleep out in the house now. We use the kennel if we need to go somewhere and we can't leave them out alone. So yeah, that the the top actually pops off so that I can get down in there and clean it. Uh, but it works great for storage and for the pups. Now Macy, which is her, Miss Macy, she's seven. She weighs over 120 pounds. She doesn't need a crate. She's like the perfect dog. She doesn't get into anything. She doesn't tear up anything. She doesn't go potties in the house. But she loves a crate. It's like her own personal space. And she just loves it. So that is Macy's bedroom. Uh, when the puppies get on her nerves. Or when she wants to eat. Or at night. She puts herself in there. And she sleeps in that crate at night. She just. She loves it. We do plan on getting a new couch eventually because this one's old and the pups have worked on it. We figure we should let them get a little bit bigger, a little bit older, and a little more trained before we invest in a new couch. This is our dog food storage. Got one container for the pups, one for Casper because He's missing a lot of teeth, and he has to have special foods, and then one for Macy. Um, this is a like a cubby bookshelf. It could either stand up on its end or lay down on its side, and then we just cut this board and stained it and lacquered it and screwed it down to the top, so it's like a little bar area same thing here we added this we put some yeah we just put those on the wall and then added the chains for decoration and as I've said in previous videos the RV came with a cutout there in the pantry it's unnecessary I made curtains to cover it up just so it look a little nicer because we have double pantries here and each one slides all the way out. That one does the same thing. The area down here is still in construction. Right now it's just full of tools. Then we turn around here. The RV came with just a cooktop, no oven. We got rid of that and found this used. It, you know, it's just regular. It has the cooktop and the oven, and we put it in there. I've still got to finish the trim. It'll look like the trim here with the maps, and it'll just go around there. Speaking of, my cabinets, the base. Let's move over here because that fan is probably loud. So the base of the cabinets... I did with this fabric, but I used a Mod Podge application and it makes it feel like plaster so you can wash it. And I did that through all of the cabinets in here. Yeah, there's our little redneck <laughs> TV hanger. <laughs> it works for now. <laughs> uh, we also plan on getting a nice wood trim around the door. Now here is the area I was talking about. It used to be, you, if you've seen the Class A motorhomes, it's all cabinetry there. But we have a teenage daughter, so we ripped all of that out. 
and the plan is to build a bunk area there. It'll happen slowly but surely. I got a lot of work to do in the cab. We have to put flooring down over there. And then my backsplash here. Those are really nice quality stick-on tiles that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then we just got some decorative trim and I stained it and put around there. The RV had a hanging microwave. But it didn't work. So we just pulled it out and Frank built this little cabinet, the microwave in, and it holds some of our coffee stuff and some kitchen gadgets there. Oh, 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 here we go. I about forgot about this. Uh, it came with this Wave 8 propane heater. It looks a little grungy. It's got a little rust and stuff on it, but it works great. And it is on a swivel well I would I don't a hinge not a swivel get your words right Jade so yeah it just you can aim it whichever way you want to I would show you the bathroom but my daughter is currently in there so back here this is the bathroom by the way we have a nice corner cabinet here. Our solar batteries and inverter are under the fridge. Then we have our charge controller in the cabinet here. Um, the bedroom's filthy. I haven't cleaned it there. Uh, we got a nice mirror going all along this wall. And let me back up for a minute. When we got the RV, <coughs> there was no wall there. It was just straight up open, and it was a bathroom. Like, no wall, no doors, no anything. We actually built the side wall and created this hallway and put a door on it was awkward <laughs> uh, we do have two ACs and it's like duck work Let's see if I can turn around we got vents all through the ceiling and it blows out through the vent so that's pretty neat the bedroom door here it's like a double door so you pull it this way and it's it shuts off the bedroom and it's like magnetic and then when you do this it shuts off a closet that's behind here I'll show you that in a minute yeah the be bedroom's kind of not put together <laughs> but it's got a nice bed I need some curtains obviously <laughs> nice closet got a TV and then that storage I was telling you about Caitlin for now, she sleeps on the sleeper sofa, and yeah, we just, tons of storage here. I use this as easily full of towels and wash rags, but I need to go to the laundromat. <laughs> and there's Darla. Darla is one of the puppies, and she's five months old. <coughs> This is Misha. Misha. And again, this is Macy. Macy's seven. Misha and Darla are five months. And then this is Casper. He is the king of the castle. He's the boss. He's the smallest, but he is the boss. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. Still a work in progress. Oh, I still have the bathroom. I have to wait on Caitlin to come out, which that could be God knows how long. But we'll get there. Finally, she graciously gave me access to the bathroom. And I hope you didn't make a mess in there. 
Alright, so this is the bathroom. Oh, I need to turn some lights on. Alright. So as I said, there was no wall, door, or anything. It was very awkward. We built the wall, installed the door. We were kind of going with an old barn theme, I guess. So I painted these cabinets and roughed them up. Same thing. This was like an L cabinet in the middle of the floor, and we just cut some of it off so we could put the wall there. Um, yeah, there's our sink, galvanized sink, our little piggy bobble head. I can't, there it gets, <laughs> for the toilet paper. Um, and then we went, we got a galvanized tub for the actual tub. And then trying to find a circular curtain rod. Hold on, I gotta let this dog out. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Alright. Where were we? So, trying to find a circular shower rod, whatever, was like impossible. I found like one on Amazon and they wanted over $200 for it. So what did I do? I got a hula hoop. It is a hula hoop, and it works great. <laughs> I probably should have like spray painted it black or something. I might do that later, but right now it works. <laughs> I'm not too worried about how it looks. Uh, we eventually are going to build some shelving over there, something to enclose our dirty laundry, but we haven't gotten to that yet. We got a nice toilet. It's got one of those soft closed lids. You can't slam it. So yeah. <clears throat> this is our bathroom. We're doing a lot of projects today because tomorrow is travel day. And we usually do some deep cleaning and stuff before we travel to a new place. Well, the dogs have wrecked our blinds that go behind the couch. <laughs> so, instead of buying new ones, these are like super long. And the window RVs are what, like two and a half feet long? Anyway, so, if we just take them down, Frank's taking panels from down there and replacing up here. I figure we can do that maybe one more time after this before we have to buy new ones. <laughs> Gotta make them last until the puppies grow out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Casper's bad about it too, and he's seven. Yeah, but he'll just shove his nose in it. These actually, they actually eat it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're doing some projects. Let me show you what I'm doing here. The RV came with this hole cut out in the pantry. You really don't need it because these pantries. I mean, they pull out. I guess it's kind of neat for easy access and stuff, but I hate that big gaping hole. Um, I like to reuse things as much as possible. So this fabric is the same fabric that I use on my cabinets. And then this <laughs> is a piece of fishing rod that is broke. See, it broke here in the car. Somebody shut it in the car door. So, what I did is I pulled the eyes off, except for the one on the end. That one will screw into here, and then we'll drill a hole in this side to put the rest of the fishing rod to hold it in here. Now, for this fabric, I don't have a sewing machine, so I took Mod Podge, which is it's kind of like a glue for a uh, a glue for anything paper fabric and I just put the Mod Podge on there folded it over and then put more on the back and that's how I seamed it all the way around and then believe it or not when you put the Mod Podge on it makes it makes it rather stiff kind of like starch you know it makes it stiff and I was trying to figure out how to put holes in here and Frank's like, what about your hole punch? I was like, mm, on fabric, I'm not real sure. 
but look at that hole. Just from a paper hole punch that I used for for Caitlin's schoolwork, and I hole punched all the way through. I've got another panel that'll go in here too. It's outside drying, and then I wish I had an iron because I would crease the bottom the way I crease the top, and then I would iron the pleats all the way down. And I think that would look pretty, but I don't have an iron. Uh, maybe I'll pick one up at the Dollar General and do that later. But yeah, that's going to be little curtains to go there. And I think it'll hide all that junk quite well. <laughs> Alright, it's all done. I like it, but Frank says we can pull the pantries out and have a puppet show back there. <laughs> He's not a fan, but I like that it's closed up. I don't give a crap if it does look like it could be a puppet show. Uh, what I had to do... Shut up, Frank. I had to put a little hook here to give this a little more strength. But yeah. I think it looks good. And look, it, it brings in the kitchen over here with the fabric. Because I got fabric, the same fabric. Yeah, you want to pick on my puppet show. How about your ghetto TV hanger? Oh, that's your idea. You want to talk? <laughs> <laughs> must, must have been good because you did it. Whatever. <sighs> yeah, so that's done. If you say it don't have bottle caps in it one more time, I'm going to come over there and mash your head. So, I found this at a little store. You're supposed to, like, drink a beer from every state and put the bottle caps in here. But, I don't know. I also got to thinking, <clears throat> maybe, you know, you see trash bottle caps everywhere, laying on the ground everywhere you go. Well, well there ain't no bottle caps. Where? Yeah. Shut up. So, you know where there ain't a bunk up there that you ain't built yet? I know it. I know. Looking all trashy and stuff. I'm building it. Now, back to what I was saying. We could help the environment. Every state we're in will go for a walk and pick up a bottle cap from the ground and put it in the thing. And we can say we picked up trash from every state that we visited. We can prove it. Yes. <sighs> I don't drink beer out of bottles. I know. That's too rich for you. We need more big enough whole can. Oh my gosh. <laughs>